Well, it's 9.15 a.m. and I just got a dock here at High V Distribution Center. Um, so, obviously I'm opening my doors. I always have trouble with that one. I'll have to jump up there and get my load bar. Product still looks good. So yeah, they're getting me into a dock 19, or 19, 15 minutes after my scheduled appointment. Um, I'm gonna jump up in the truck now and go grab my load bars. Well, I got the load bars out, doors open, tandems are slid all the way to the rear. Um, now I'm just backing into the dock. And here at this high V, you watch the light. Once the light turns green, your paperwork will be in the back of the trailer and you are free to leave. So, that's funny. The light just went red, even though I wasn't in the dock. So there we go, we're backed in. Now I just wait to get unloaded and then on to my next, I have two deliveries today. One right now and then I have another one scheduled for, I believe it's 5.30 p.m in Cedar Falls, Iowa, which is about three hours away from where I currently am. Well, good afternoon. Um, I haven't given you an update. Matter of fact, I forgot to let you all know I was empty at um, High V. But I am at a Love's. It's currently 4.15 p.m. And I have been here for like three hours. Um, the Target Distribution Center is like five miles that way to the west. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna run in here real quick, use the bathroom, grab some water, and then I'm gonna head over there. Um, I haven't felt well all day. I, I've actually slept, been sleeping all day. Uh, I woke up, didn't feel great, got here, parked, um, ate some oatmeal, and I fell asleep, and I've been sleeping all day. Um, I didn't let you know I was unloaded at uh, high V either. That's kind of when I started feeling like crap. Like, as soon as I woke up, got into the dock, I, I didn't feel very well. So, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna run into this gloves, grab some water, and then head to the Target Distribution Center for a 5.30 p.m. delivery. Well, I am here at Target. Um, battery on my phone is about to die. Uh, it's 4.30, just about 4.30. Um, 4.33 it looks like. Um, they allowed me to check in an hour early. So now I am just going to find a spot to park. And then I have to go into the shipping and receiving office. Well, I just got a phone call to back into door 502. So now I need to slide my tandems and take the padlock off. I do not open my doors at this target. They do it from the inside. So I just need to slide my tandems right there to the rear of the trailer and get back into the door. Well. Now it's time to slide the tandems. Um, shut up. This truck, there's times where I put it into gear and it just like takes off. And I don't like that because I don't like slamming the tandems into 
the bar that you know stops them from going all the way off the trailer and the bar that goes that stops them from going all the way forward um i still this truck's got some weird things to it um especially backing up like you have to be very gentle on this throttle or you're gonna just crash into the dock there we go in the dock and now we play the waiting game still um i believe there's four pallets coming here so it's uh 6 15 so that's what 45 minutes after my scheduled appointment so yeah now i just wait to get unloaded well, i've been sitting in that dock for like two and a half hours now and i felt them unload me i saw the light turn red and it's green and i'm still just sitting here they haven't called me and told me i can leave so i'm gonna go and check with them and see what the holdup is i gotta be very careful here though because I know the customer that I am delivering for has direct contact with this Target distribution center. So I need to be very professional when I do this because I know if I'm not, it's going to get back to the customer. So I'm going to go check in right now or check to see what's going on. I really don't know what to say here. Um, it's 930 at night. I am finally unloaded here at Target. Um, absolutely ridiculous they got four pallets and i've been here since like 4 30 4 45 i had a 5 30 appointment um but i'm gonna open my doors make sure my load bars are in here and make sure that they received everything uh, because i've delivered here before and they haven't taken everything off the trailer so i'm gonna jump in the trailer and make sure it's good. Well, they did take all their product um, and my load bars are in there, but I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. They don't allow any type of laying over here, but I'm out of hours. They, they ran my clock out. Um, I am, I can leave in like an hour and a half, so. I'm gonna have to just back back up to the dock and act like I didn't know they unloaded me or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, well, as you can tell, I'm laying in the bunk here, still at Target. Um, I'm not leaving unless unless somebody tells me that I'm trespassing. I'm being very cordial and very nice, but I went in and explained to the lady, "Hey, you took five hours to unload me." Um, it ran my clock out and I can't leave for another hour and 20 minutes to get hours back so yeah she said she would talk to her manager and somebody would come out and talk to me because they don't allow layovers I explained I'm not going to be sitting here for 10 hours I need you know another hour and 20 minutes um and I explained to them hey you know you're asking me to create an hours of service violation which technically is a crime because I can be cited for it fined for it along with the carrier and I can get in a lot of trouble if I leave here and hit somebody or somebody hits me and I'm out of hours um you know I'm not going to use personal conveyance this isn't this isn't right this just isn't right that if these places hold us this long and then don't allow us to get rest because they held us so long, that's not our problem. I don't feel like that's my problem. So I'm being very cordial. I'm being pleasant. I'm not like argumentative. Um, I will talk respectfully to anybody that comes up to the truck and tells me I have to leave. And like I said, if they say, hey, you're trespassing, well, then I will leave because um, I'm not trying to cause an argument or a fight i'm just you know being honest with them so yeah this is where i'm gonna sit at the target in the same dock i was getting unloaded in well as you can tell i'm still sitting here at target take my damn hat off uh the security guard did come to my truck um him and i had a very good civil 
conversation um, and they are letting me stay here. Um, I showed him my log, my logs, explained to him the situation and he was super cool with it. He's just like, listen, we don't, we don't want people on our property for 10, 12 hours at a time for liability reasons and crap like that. So what he told me is he's the security guard until midnight. Um, he's like, if you're not gone by midnight, he goes, you're going to have to deal with another guy who's a little more stricter than me. And like I said, I was like, well, dude, look at my, like, I need 40 minutes, um, before I can leave. And he was cool with it. So I'm still here in the bunk. Uh, I'm going to turn my alarm on for 37 minutes and take another nap. So yeah, all in all, I thought what was going to be kind of a argument or something is it didn't turned out just fine so i will say when you are interacting with people especially big warehouses i know that it's frustrating right but if you keep a level head and you talk to them professionally they will treat you with respect you know in my mind there should never even be a discussion or an argument you held me here over five hours to get me unloaded I should be able to stay here that long. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm rambling now. I'm going to take a nap, so we'll talk to you all later. Well, it's 11.20 p.m. Um, I just fired up the truck, made sure all the lights and everything were working, and I am going to get out of Target here um, and on to Minnesota. Um, I have a delivery at 6 a.m. and then 9 a.m., I believe. Um, I'm 215 miles away from where I deliver in Shakopee, Minnesota. Five minutes to six as you can already tell I'm backed into a dock here in Shakopee Minnesota there's only two pallets coming here so I should be unloaded very quickly um, I got here at about 3 30 this morning I made two stops after leaving Target one to a loves to grab a cup of coffee and use the restroom the second stop was at the Petro in Albert Lee off of 35 and exit 11 I stopped there to fill up my reefer tank it was getting kind of low um, I don't go above a or below a quarter tank of fuel. 
Um, and my reefer just, I've heard horror stories of it grabbing a lot of air then and shutting down. Um, and what if I forget and fall asleep or something and run out of reefer fuel? So I stopped, topped off my reefer fuel, got here, was able to take like a two hour nap, uh, two and a half hour nap, and then checked in and got a door right away and they're unloading me. So I still have one more stop after this and that will finish all eight stops on this LTL load. Um, so yeah, I got some other stuff that's happening today that I'll talk about later, but right now I just wait for him to bring the paperwork out to me. Anywhere? Yeah, anywhere on there is fine. Thank you. Good day. Appreciate it. Well, just like that, I'm unloaded and I got my BOL back. So now it's time to get on to the next delivery. I got to my next delivery. Um, it's 7.05 a.m. I have a nine o'clock appointment. Um, so I'm gonna walk in here real quick and check in and maybe I can get a door early. Um, looks like there's already one truck backing into the door. But uh, yeah, see if checking in early helps today. Well, I checked in. Um, she took down my phone number, told me she would give me a call. I noticed that there's another truck backing into one of their receiving docks. That's dry van though. That Bay and Bay truck. Yeah, this guy's backing into the freezer door right now. Hopefully I can get unloaded after him. We'll see. Well, I'm backing into the dock here at my final stop. This is stop number eight of eight. Um, and they gave me a door pretty early. It currently is 10 minutes to nine and I had an 11 a.m. appointment. So they're getting me in a few hours early and there's only three pallets coming here. So it should be a pretty quick unload process uh, to final this LTL reefer load. I just have to back into the dock and put the wheel chalk in. I'll tell you what, man, backing this international up, you gotta be so careful with the throttle. There we go, we're in the dock. All right, I am gonna go put the load bar, or load bar, the um, wheel chalk in. not gonna lie I'm glad to be done with this uh, LTL reefer freight load um, it wasn't that it was that hard <laughs> that's what she said <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up I'm just ready to be done with it uh, I haven't felt good for like two and a half days now um, but I'm staying out trucking but that's gonna be a different vlog I'll talk about that later but uh, yeah I'm going to get unloaded here and then I'll kind of break down the mileage and everything of this LTL load. All right, I'll break down a little bit of this LTL reefer freight load that started Saturday at one o'clock in the afternoon. 
out on the Atlantic seaboard and final today, Thursday, at 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so it ended up being all hours. Obviously, I didn't work all these hours. 117 hours from the time I left the shipper to the time I finished my last stop today in Minnesota. So let's talk a little bit about this. Um, it ended up being 2,053 miles, all miles. Um, it started Saturday at 1 p.m., finaled today, Thursday at 10 a.m. I ended up making deliveries in six different states. I had deliveries in Kentucky, Ohio, Kansas, Illinois, Iowa, and Minnesota. I had a total of eight stops. Um, it was a frozen load. It ran at minus 10 continuous. It, it weighed 26,750 pounds. I got paid $3.01 per mile on 2,053 miles. Um, like I said, it was all hours ended up being 117 hours. So if you break that down per hour, what do we make as owner operators per hour when we're sleeping, eating, showering, and driving? Um, it ended up being $52.99 per hour for the duration of the whole load. Like I said, I got paid $52.99 to sleep, to eat, to shower, to use the bathroom. I don't use the bathroom for an hour, but if I did, I would have gotten paid almost $53 an hour to use the John. Um, I got great fuel mileage. I ended up getting 9.1 miles per gallon on this whole trip. So yeah, uh, thanks for sticking along so far in this uh, LTL reefer freight, freight vlog. I appreciate it. Until next time, you know what it is. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Keep on trucking.